just a little bit of notice this video is slightly out of focus and it is enough to annoy me I wanted to delete all the footage and refilm the entire thing however I'm headed out to Manly again tomorrow and I just do not have the time to refilm and with how jam-packed our schedule is when we get back from Manly in about 10 days I'm not gonna have time to refilm this one then either so we're just gonna deal with the slightly out of focusness. Luckily, the road trip binders that I'm showing end up being in focus. It's just my big old face that's a little out of focus. So we're gonna deal with it. I apologize. Better quality to come soon. I adjusted where I was filming and it just created a bit of an issue on this one because I wasn't paying enough attention. So thank you for tolerating this one this time. Okay. Now on to the video. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am going to be sharing our road trip binders with you guys today. Now I showed these in our homeschool room tour from this summer and I had a couple of comments with people requesting to kind of see them and a more in-depth look at them. So I thought I would share them today and this is especially well-timed because we are headed out again this week on another road trip. Our road trips where we've been going for the past couple of summers are to the Manly Hot Springs area of Alaska and it's past Fairbanks. I feel like Fairbanks is a more well-known area versus Manly and for us it's about a 500 mile trip one way and so the trip round trip is about a thousand miles and we don't do the whole trip in one setting. Usually I drive out to Manly, we stay for a week or so and we come back and that is because that is where Justin is working. So these have become a staple in these road trip journeys. Living somewhere like Alaska where the primary mode of transportation is driving, we definitely get a lot of use out of these. So I'm just going to show them to you guys. This is Liliana's. Now I made this front cover page and I just used a uh, pick monkey for this and I kind of tried to make it look like a license plate. This is Nikolai's. You can see his a little bit better because his actual binder is clear on the front page whereas Liliana's is pink and Danielle's is purple. I'll show you hers in a second. So I just put their names. I tried to make this look like a license plate and then I just used some basic little graphics that PicMonkey has available. Each one of the kids has different ones for theirs like this is Danielle's. And like I said, I just put washi tape up across the top to help keep the girls in place. Nikolai's I didn't have as much of an issue, but anyway, so that is the cover. Now, let me just say the idea for these wasn't purely my own. I was looking for something for the kids to be able to do while on a road trip that didn't involve screen time, that didn't involve a tablet, my phone, something like that. And I wanted it to be something that wouldn't necessarily make a huge mess in the vehicle. So I turned to Pinterest and I was just looking for some printable road trip activities for kids and I also had some worksheets that I had taken out of workbooks that I was going to put together and it dawned on me when I was looking through all of this I was like wait I could just three hole punch everything and put it in a binder so then I searched for road trip binders or travel binders and there are a ton of them out there there are a lot of very good posts by different bloggers who share everything that they have. So I just wanted to start off by saying that everything in here isn't something that I created or I found on my own. I turned to Pinterest, put it together to customize them for us. And that is one thing I will say that is really awesome about making these yourself is you can customize it to your kids' interests. And if your kids' interests change from trip to trip, you can take the pages out and put new ones in. One thing that changes in ours all the time, because it's the number one thing that gets used in these, are the coloring pages. So I'll print off ones for the kids' favorite movies and characters for the time frame that we're traveling in, and if it changes, I change them out. I will include links down below of the sheets that I'm going to share in here that are not mine, and the blog post that I found the most helpful when compiling our road trip binders. So. Liliana and Nikolai are nine years old, Danielle is eight. So the activities that are in here are tuned to what they enjoy doing. So again, it's completely customizable for the age of your kiddos. Let's take a look at what's inside our road trip binders currently. So we have here this road trip bingo. This is one that I actually made just by finding these kind of clip art type graphics by searching Google and changing the colors of them in PicMonkey. And I tuned this to Alaska. Like we have a fireweed down here, a porcupine and a moose, things that I almost knew for certain we would see. Last year we saw moose and porcupine a lot on the drive. This time we didn't, so the kids didn't find any. But 
road construction things. We see those a lot. So I made this one myself and I would say any type of like road type bingo, like travel bingo or one like this, this one is truck spotting. I did not make this one myself. This one was also one that the kids really enjoyed doing and they haven't completed it. So that's the cool thing is these are from our last trip to Manly and they're going to be able to use them again now and hopefully complete more of them. And then since my kiddos are at a level where they're able to read, I put spot the car. Nikolai is obsessed with different types of vehicles. Like, is it a Chevy? Is it a Ford? Is it a Jetta, a Malibu? Like what is the vehicle? So he really enjoyed this one, I think. And this one's from about.com family vacations and travel with kids .com. Another one I have is this road trip scavenger hunt with this is a list. So as you can see, there's a trend here with lots of scavenger hunts. If you have younger kids, like when the kids were younger and I made these, a lot of I spies or I spots that had more like graphic pictures versus words. But now I like to combine reading with the like I spy spot it type thing. For pictures this time we have Zootopia in here. A page that I found that I thought was really cool that the kids haven't used that yet is this one that says our trip and it has the date, the place, details, summary, drawing of the day. This is one that I need to make a point to sit down with them when we reach our destination or we stop and take a break to fill out because it's something that I want to keep for them in their memory box for when they're older to remember the page. I found this Alaska fun page. So, you know, if you're doing something where you're driving, like here in the United States, if you're driving from coast to coast or through a few states, you could get really in depth with this and put uh, divider pages with tabs for the state that you're going through or day one, day two, day three, day four, and make it a really cool interactive thing for your journey that you're taking. I haven't done that because we're just going through Alaska and our driving is all done in one day mostly. But if we ever do another road trip from Alaska down to Wisconsin where my family is, where we're driving through Canada, it's definitely something that has crossed my mind to do. Here's another scavenger hunt. This one definitely could be used for younger kiddos. Um, it's just basic like cows, cars, church, a flag, a traffic light, things that you know you will probably see. Another one that I need to fill out with them. This isn't all about my trip. So you guys see kind of the types of ideas that you can put in here. I feature an Alaska word search and Nikolai has some Disney Fire and Planes in here as well. And then we have a license plate game in here, lots of things. I think I'll just show you a couple of pages that are in the girls, just so you can get an idea of the way you can customize them for your kid. Let me look and see which ones. They all have kind of the same things in them, but I also kind of provide different things for each of them. For example, one thing that they all have, but they all loved, I just found some really cheesy jokes from a mom with a lessonplan.com. And these are jokes like, what holds the sun up in the sky? Sunbeams. What do sheep do on sunny days? Have a barbecue. The kids thought they were hilarious and they were telling each other jokes. And believe me, as someone who travels with their kids, it is way nicer to hear your kids laughing than it is to hear them arguing or fighting. So I'll take the giggles over silly jokes over the bickering. Liliana has this coloring page in hers. It's a bunch of Pegasuses. That's very challenging to say. All together and then I think hers is pretty much the same as Nikolai's. I haven't added or taken away a whole lot um, from hers compared to Nikolai. Nikolai has a few more coloring pages left in his than the girls because the girls tend to color a little bit more. So I'll need to print off a couple for them before we leave again. Danielle's is very much similar to the twins. Uh, the twins had completed this one or used it all up in theirs. This is a dot boxing. This one is part of an entire like printable set from this particular blog and I can't remember who it is but I'll link it below. It's like a whole road trip set. Danielle has this one in hers. It's just the Alaska flag and some facts about the flag itself. So like I said, you can make it educational, tune it to where you're going, your destination. Uh, this is another one that's from that same packet of printables. Uh, I believe it says what is driving down the road, but I didn't scale it correctly. And then there's one here, are we there yet? The alphabet game. So I've just found that these are really handy and helpful for the kids to keep their minds engaged in doing something as we travel. They don't use them the entire time. We also have Legos and just coloring books and other things for them to do. But I find that when I pack, I take the time to pack each of them, a backpack for the trip with things for them to do 
it makes the drive, the trip so much easier. I do a similar thing if we're flying. And one tip that I found that is really helpful is to go to somewhere like the Target dollar spot, a dollar store, or even the toy aisles at your favorite store and pick out a couple of toys that are small and travel friendly. You don't want things that are gonna require batteries, make noises and be disruptive to other people, but just little things that they haven't seen yet and pack them. And it can be as simple as a small coloring book and crayons. Don't let them see it, let it be a surprise for the trip and they will be totally immersed and engaged in that versus dealing with the natural disruption that comes to their schedule when we choose to travel because it's outside of the norm for them. So those are just some of my travel tips along with our road trip binders. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have a road trip binder or must have tips for when you travel with your kids, leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear your tips and tricks as parents. And as always, lots of love from Alaska. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.